Whether you are an ocean lover or not, you are about to become one. Welcome to our new tutorial series, Master the Hunt. By the end of this 20 part series, you will not only be able to snorkel, but you will have virtual training on free diving, tips, tricks and safety relating to breath holds and maximizing your bottom time, spearfishing and even living off the land and cooking your catch with celebrity chefs. Getting started snorkeling requires a few bits of gear. You will need a mask, a snorkel, as well as a pair of fins. And if you are snorkeling outside the tropics, you will need a wetsuit for warmth. Looking at the mask, we really want to have a mask that fits comfortably on our face. Ideally, the mask should fit firmly on the face without tightening the strap by breathing through the nose, like this. Once you've got a good fitting mask, the next bit of gear is your snorkel. Now, there are two types of snorkels. There are scuba diving snorkels, which have purge valves at the mouth and are designed to keep the water out of your mask while snorkeling and scuba diving. And there are free diving snorkels, like this one here, which are designed to increase the airflow. While they don't have purge valves, they are recommended for free diving because they are less restrictive than scuba diving snorkels. Finally, we need a pair of fins. If you're interested in taking your training further into free diving or duck diving, you may want to consider having a pair of free diving fins like this and get used to them. But if you're happy just snorkeling, a simple pair of fins is just fine. It's worth noting that some fins are designed to slot right onto your feet, whereas others are meant to be worn with wetsuit socks or boots for added warmth in the weather. Now we've got all our gear, it's time to get ready and get in the weather. To stop your mask from fogging, you can do one of two things. The first is to use an anti-fog spray and spray the inside of your mask. Then you can quickly rinse it, but be careful not to rinse it too much or you will remove the spray. Or if you don't have a spray, do what the pros do. It may be gross at the start, but it works very well. Once you've given it a good spit, just wrap it around and give it a quick rinse. When putting the mask on, a common mistake is to over tighten it, which will actually cause it to leak. However, you want to have the mask firmly on your face, but without over tightening it, you just want it to hold it in place. The water pressure will actually do a lot to firmly hold the mask on your face. Now that we have our mask on, we're gonna go out into the water about waist deep and put our fins on. The key to kick these fins is to keep the body as straight as possible. You don't want to be bending your knee while kicking in the water like this because this will make it very difficult for you however what you want to do is to keep the legs straight the knee straight and actually kick from your thigh now we are actually ready to go snorkeling while snorkeling it is most likely that you will have some water entering your snorkel especially if you duck dive we will have to clear this Clearing your snorkel can be very easily done without interrupting your snorkeling experience. You don't even need to take your head out of the water. To do this, you simply need to sharply exhale while saying the word two. Two. When done correctly, the water will be expelled from the snorkel without even taking your head out of the water. Now that we know how to snorkel, I'm gonna head out to the reef just off shore where there is a group of resident turtles. Fish and wildlife usually live where there are rocks, structures and seaweed, which means that headlands and calm rocky areas are the best places to snorkel. Finally, this is a brand new experience, so enjoy, keep calm and stay relaxed. Let's have a look to what we find there. <laughs> 